Voluma for gels? I had two syringes of Voluma for pre-gels. The doctor didn't inject it into my cheeks. He put it around my jawline and near the pre-gels. I still see where the gels are. Is it normal to inject it that way? It still feels hard and looks red without makeup. Thank you for your question. You submitted several photos and you report in your question that you underwent uh, having two syringes of Juvederm Voluma placed in the pre jowl area. And you're expressing a description where you feel like you still see jowls and that the areas are lumpy um, after undergoing this procedure. And you're asking, of course, in addition, whether or not it's normal to do this. Well, I can give you some perspective on how I evaluate patients like yourself and recommendations about what I would do with your situation and hopefully give you a little bit of explanation as to probably what your physician was thinking when you had this treatment. A little bit of background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. I do a lot of injectable fillers in my practice. In fact, we do something called structural volumizing which, in which we use a fair amount of hyaluronic acid fillers that are more thick, such as uh, Juvederm Voluma. So I can give you a little bit of an understanding of first what the anatomy is that probably your doctor was trying to uh, help you with and give you an explanation of what may be of value beyond what you had done. So what exactly is a jowl? Well, a jowl is represented in terms of what most people describe as a, as a lack of continuity of the jawline. And what that means is essentially when you follow the, from, the cent, from the chin back to the angle of the jaw, you'll see a relative indentation and then a little bit of a sag, and that's referred to as a jowl. So that relative indentation is referred to as the mandibular notch. The mandibular notch is an actual notch in the bone structure where it accentuates any sag or, lo or loss of tone and volume in the jawline. So a strategy is if you have an indentation is to fill that indentation. And I think that's what your doctor was trying to do. By filling that indentation, they're hoping for you to see an improvement in the overall appearance. Now, of course, seeing your doctor who performed it and having taking some photos would probably help you understand the level of improvement. I'm sure that when you saw your doctor, the doctor did not say that your jowls would be eliminated, but typically a doctor will say that your appearance of your jowls will be improved. Now, having said that, the question arises, is there anything else that could be done short of surgery? The answer is yes. We live in a time when we have a combination of numerous less invasive options to help people like yourself who may not even be ready, actually a candidate for surgery. So understanding that, we, we, I can tell you a little bit about how we use Voluma in situations like yours. As I mentioned, we do something called structural volumizing. Structural volumizing is a different strategy in which the material, the filler, is being placed under muscles and adjacent to the bone structure. That makes a lot of sense, particularly in the pre-jowl area, because that's an area where you need volume at the bone level. Very often, it is a good strategy and a, and a reasonable strategy to place material just below the skin to blend that area, and that also has value. Very often, we'll actually do both because there's still value in doing things at multiple levels. In addition, we can actually place the filler, the material like the Juvederm Voluma, in the chin. It, it appears with the, your photos that your chin is a little bit back. 
we often refer to it as a retrusive chin. And that can further accentuate the pre-jowl area. So what we can do with filler is actually place it in the chin and increase the projection of the chin. So now you improve the pre-jowl area and the chin and very often that is enough to give you a significant enough improvement. Beyond that you can actually add a filler at the angle of the mandible and that further adds some stretch and some definition. There are also non-surgical thermal energy devices um, that can help tighten the skin around the jowl area and help define the jawline. That's another strategy. There are also ways to minimally or minimally invasive approaches that use some surgical principles to vertically lift jowls. Again, if we're talking about just fillers as a solution to help you with this area, then I think your, your doctor is on the right track. It is likely that there would be value in additional filler and possibly filler to help further define this area. In fact, even Botox can be applied strategically to also help the jawline. So as you can see, there's a lot of different ways to maximize the benefit of a non-surgical approach for this type of issue. And I think that although you may not be fully satisfied with your result, I would suspect that your doctor probably made an improvement and now there's probably room to maybe further improve this area so that you feel better about your final result. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck and thank you for your question. Thank you.